cheese sticks. And uh, I've seen someone else doing them that I follow. And so I wanted to make, I wanted to make my version of them. And so really, really easy. So you have two eggs. I'm gonna try to get you to see what I'm doing. And um, actually, I think I'm gonna bring you over here. That way you can see my ingredients and then I'll put you back over there to watch. All right, let's get you over here. Okay, I've got two eggs here and I'm just gonna whip those up like you would with, uh, with anything. And then here in this bowl, I have some Italian breadcrumbs that I like to doctor up with a little bit more parsley just for looks. And of course, uh, everything's better with a little bit more garlic powder. I didn't want to use salt because of the, it's, that's already salted up. And then of course, flour. And then I'm using um, just these stick cheese sticks. And then over here on my stove, I've got a small skillet of olive oil. Olive oil burns hot, so we're gonna use olive oil. Now I'm using a very small skillet with just a little bit of oil just because I'm running low, but if you wanted to deep fry them, then you could put them in a bigger, deeper pot. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna finish whipping these up really, really good, the egg. And then we're gonna cut these um, cheese sticks in half. And try to find, I, don't, I like buying dollar, or dollar, uh, not dollar store, but uh, Equate brand, Walmart, you know, the off brand or whatever on some things, but when it comes to the cheese, uh, mozzarella cheese, these sticks, I, they're not good. I like the, the mayo and stuff. You gotta stick with the, with the real stuff. So I, these are room temperature. Um, I was watching Angie. It's something down under. I'll pin her, her, I never can remember her YouTube name, but she was making them and I was like, I'm gonna show how I do mine. So I'm gonna cut these in half. These are room temperature. It kind of helps them to melt better. Okay. And simple, simple. We're gonna turn our oil on. And it's gonna be on a fairly high heat. And we're going to put our um, cheese in the, in the flour first. And then we're going to put them in the egg wash and then in this breadcrumbs and then back in the egg wash and then back in the um, breadcrumbs. So they're going to be dipped three times. Okay? So I'm going to bring you back over here to watch me do, do these. Okay? So we're going to flour these up really good okay egg wash just a quick toss in there and the breadcrumbs okay back in the egg wash need to make sure it gets on all sides and ends and then back in the breadcrumbs and you can do that as many times as you want if you like a lot of crust on there, then do it. I think I will on that particular one. I like a lot of crust. Okay, and then we're gonna stick it in that. Now I'm gonna set that just right there so we can get the oil a little bit hotter, and we will go to the next next one. So flour it really good. Make sure you do your ends. Egg wash. We're having pizza tonight, and I thought, man, this would be good to put with the pizza. Good appetizer. Okay, back in the egg wash. Back in the crumbs. Still don't have my cameraman with me, so he's still out gallivanting around. I'm going to do it again. Don't hurt. I'm going to put that uh, somebody just drove up and Drake is excited. Okay, 
then we're just going to drop that into, that's how you want your oil. Drake! He's always excited when Daddy or Christopher gets home. Okay, let's do some more. Now, those get done in about two minutes. They are really, really fast. And so, um, I'm going to continue to do that. Fill up my skillet. and I will show you how I cook them in just a moment. Okay, these cook really, really fast. So, you have to make sure you're watching them. Olive oil gets really, really hot. I mean, they literally get done in just just a little bit so I keep turning mine that one looks like it's about done um, so I need a little bit more of the cheese is even coming out the end mmm don't that look good all right we're gonna continue frying these and I'll pull them out okay here they are and they are good and stringy you can see that room temperature cheese that's the trick and uh, so we're gonna have that and then this is the homemade pizza I made it's got onions and peppers and sausage and hamburger meat and it's uh, going to be good too. But that's dinner tonight. Okay, I'm going to taste test the cheese stick and see how see how the cheese just comes. Oh, just which one do I want? Okay, and then we're just going to pull it apart. Look at that. <laughs> it's good. I've already cheated and tested it. Mmm. Better than Sonic. Better than anywhere. So, you go and you try to make these and you come back and tell me how they turned out. We'll see y'all next time.